Hello everybody, I just wanted to bring what I hope will be a word of encouragement for you if you happen to be watching this. Um, and particularly for people who feel burdened, people who feel burdened and maybe even despairing. This is a verse that I think is perfect because of the hope, the blessed hope of the glory of the resurrection. He is risen, but also the profound suffering that leads one to despair even of life itself they're both there in the same thought the same verse 2 corinthians 1 second half of verse 8 and then verse 9 simply says for we this is paul the one who was bow-legged struggling to walk struggling every morning to get up out of his bed because of the pain of his body the number of times he'd been beaten tortured left stripped naked in a chained context Paul says, for we were so utterly burdened beyond our strength that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death. But that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. I think if you're a genuine Christian disciple, there is also a sadness, there's also a sense of despair there is also a sense of travail and struggle we're not called to despair because we have hope but this this is the answer which is verse 9 paul recognizing that in the extent of his suffering that had led him to despair of even life itself some of you watching listening to me now will relate with that that's okay i have and sometimes do despair of life itself that's okay, that's the Christian experience it's supposed to be. And yet the answer is, as Paul the Apostle said, is so that we might, look what it says, so that we, but that was to make us, all of that, all of that potential despair was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God. And not just God, but God who raises the dead. Can you imagine a God who couldn't or wouldn't raise the dead? So the question is not, are we burdened this morning? Are you burdened this morning? I'm sure you are. Do you have experience of despair? I'm sure you do. But the answer is, is the question is, who are we relying on? And as again, probably one who next to the Lord himself will have suffered more than most men or women on this earth. The Apostle Paul, as he says, recognising what a gift that is for us today to recognise that that kind of suffering is hand in hand with resurrection glory. We've come to recognise that this has happened so that we would rely on God. And I'd encourage myself, yourself this morning, to whatever extent that you relate with that struggle, that despairing of even life itself, that it is precisely so that we would come to rely on on God who raises the dead.